You come see me on tour in Rutherford, New Jersey, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Ontario, California, Las Vegas, Davenport, Iowa, Chicago, Illinois. We're doing a live panel video show, special surprise guests on that show, and Grand Rapids, Michigan. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets, and make sure you go to Jimmy Door because they don't want to buy it from a second reseller. Hey, our two favorite guys, remember... Uh, Jackson was on this show. Tortoise in the hair. The tortoise in the hair, and yeah. they, and they have this great uh, sexual relationship. We <laughs> we surmise. I think they both just ha really care about the dogs at this point. I don't think it's the yeah. sex is that hot. But they were both very hot for for Jackson. Jackson looked gorgeous. Yeah, that he's like a new little. Have you been working out? Yeah, but you look oh, you look fantastic. <sighs> they had feelings stirred they haven't felt in in years. In and years. Then, yeah. And then J Jackson goes, you guys are pretty upset with my appearance. And they go, well, isn't everybody? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I thought we said that as a joke about we it. We said it as a joke, and then they said it. Oh, that's right. No, they said it. And then that's when we realized that was a wig on the hair. So uh, They're both tortoise. That was so the this twist. is the tortoise and the hair. I kind of like these guys now, actually. Yeah, I know. I, they've, I, I, I might want to do their show. They've invited me, and I said no, but... I think it's. I think it would be fun. So watch this. Yeah, watch there is something. Uh, watch yeah, how like they bicker. Now, yeah. This. They, what I love is how they bicker. Yeah. Right. So let's watch this. So they have this. This is. I got this from Due Dissonance. They tweeted it out. The. So she's a Palestinian activist. I. I think she's. But she's there to advocate on behalf of the Palestinians. But watch how. Watch how they bicker. This is fun. Watch. The reason, that, the reason that people pose this question is yeah. because they want to defend okay. Israel's right to continue its genocide, well, that is to continue why doing its it. ethnic it's cleansing, not a genocide, is it? to continue its, it's ethnic genocide. cleansing of the Palestinians. How can 35,000, if the Hamas because figures Israel, are accepted, be a genocide from 2 million Israel, people? Israel, how many would be a genocide? 2 million people. If, 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 if people. you, if it, yeah. Yeah. Or a million, a million no, and a half. 35,000 can't. Stop talking. Stop talking. Can we shut the no, flip up. Every war is genocide. <laughs> can we just? I, I mean, you like will go. I, I will sack you. Well, I will sack you. Israel have killed the, the smallest Ash, amount of can innocent you be people quiet that has ever been in modern warfare. Just, I'm just, you're, just, just making a, a fact. Just now the producer's fact. telling you, and if you well, don't I'm shut just, up, you're going to have to go. I'm going to break facts. You know what I mean? Just kick them off. Has to do. The fact is that genocide or ethnic cleansing would have resulted in the whole of that area have being finished by now. Right. And the Israeli army are doing everything they can to try and stop. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Genocide Israeli looks like October army the 7th, what Hamas did. They're not doing everything they can. The Israeli yeah. army and the Israeli government have made it quite clear exactly what yeah. they want to do. Tell me what Which is to should... continue cleansing yeah. and driving all oh, of the Palestinians out of that crap. Well, there's no point and with it. Just going to shut up. Doing that, just, just shut you invited up. me onto yeah, the show. We're just inviting you now. And now you're trying to stop me. That's right. Yeah, you talk crap. You're not exposing the truth. You're lying. I'm telling you. I I th listen, I didn't want I this. I want this to go properly. So I'm going to give you two minutes, right, to state what you think nobody is actually agree. I want you to put your whole point forward. No interrupting no, from no, you. No, no. <laughs> and uh, just listen. make everybody know. Go, go for it. The reason why policy... So this is a mistake because she's actually going to mow them down. Let's watch and other presenters, um, particularly in Britain and particularly in the West, are doing so much to try and pretend that Israel has the right to do what it's doing is because Israel is a key ally of Western imperialism, a key ally of America in that whole region. The US and Israel have a trade relationship worth billions. And it's not just the US, there's multinational corporations that are advertising real estate in Gaza. What this comes down to is imperialist interests across the whole of the Middle East and, um, and, and, and the drive to continue that going because British imperialism um, many, many years ago, nearly 100 years ago, took land that wasn't theirs and tried to give it away to another people. And that was a crime and it's a crime that has continued ever since then up until now and the Palestinians are suffering a horrific experience because of that. So uh, that was fun. You want to watch the beginning again, Kurt? Yes. Yeah, um, okay, the the reason, oh, that, the reason that people pose this question is yeah. because they want to defend okay. Israel's right to continue its genocide. Well, that is why they're doing its it. Ethnic it's not a genocide, is it? To continue its, it's ethnic genocide. cleansing of how the Palestinians. How can 35,000, if the Hamas because figures Israel, are accepted, be a genocide from 2 million Israel, people? Israel, how many would be a genocide? 2 million if people. If, 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 you, million if people. it yeah. played... Or a million, a million no, and a half. 35,000 can't. Stop talking. Stop talking. Can we shut... 
The slip up. Every war is genocide. Can we you. just? I mean, you will go. I, I will say sack that. you. <laughs> well, I will sack Israel you have killed the, the smallest Ash, amount of can innocent you be people that has ever been in modern warfare. Just, I'm just, you're, just, just shut up. A, a fact. Just now the fact. producer's telling you, and if you well, don't I'm shut just, up, you're going to have gonna, to go. I'm going to make no. facts. You know, I'm got no. has to do. Has the to fact done. is that genocide or F. So anyway, that's I thought. First of all, so whoever that is did a great job, and I'm sure we're going to see her at the uh, next WEF meeting. Yeah, uh, or, I, or the I Gates Foundation. All, by the way, I love the thing of where you get into a semant the semantic argument about if it qualifies as genocide. It's genocide. You know when when neo Nazis will go. It wasn't six million Jews. It was more like <laughs> probably only like two hundred fifty thousand. Like, is that really good though? Is that okay? Let's say the thing you're yeah. saying is right. How does that in any way make you feel like it's? What, is there like a discount on it? That's a lot of murder, dude. Even that, at your lower uh, numbers, you, you're you're worse than Manson. Like, <laughs> and and people ben, argue and that it's, it's absurd. It's, I know. Ted Bundy's vilified forever for doing, I don't know, 30, 40 murders. But they do that uh, in a, you know before 9 a.m. over in Gaza. I told you when I talked to that one gangster dude about uh, Jim Sammy the Bull because I was gonna I wanted to have him on my podcast. Yeah. This one dude. And, I mean, he was pleasant enough to talk to. I liked him. But he, he goes, you know, those guys were really into being gangsters. And uh, so they all have grudges of, like, he didn't kill all those people like he said. He only probably only killed three people. And I was like, but is that like good? <laughs> <laughs> it, it it really is amazing. All all gangsters that you get like a Stockholm syndrome with, where you're supposed to like not snitch and root for their murders. Yeah, that's why America's the ultimate gangster because you're supposed to like. That's why I didn't buy, by the way, the Kim Jong Un guy that was on the the North Korea guy because I'm like I'm still hearing that my life is all about this one family. I like. If I got to pick where I get a few families to ally with, I don't want just one where my life is about preserving your family's hegemony on the whole area. I don't like like I really am not would like none of that ever again. You know, what's funny to me is I was reading the comments under that. I wanted to see how people reacted to us. And some people were like, all right, Jimmy, that's it. I'm done with you. Because no, <laughs> I had because no. I had on Haas. I had on Michael Malice just a few, few days earlier saying the exact opposite. It could go. I, I would never like, even... I was like, yeah. I don't know anything about North Korea. I had two people with opposing views come on and talk about it. I don't know. Make if up you, your own yeah. mind. Well, I guess they feel deplatforming works. <laughs> I don't know anything about North all Korea. All these cunts are on board with deplatforming. They're all on board with it. I know. It. Okay, that was fun. And and, and that young lady did a great job. Fiona Lolly. Her it's name right is Lolly, uh, Fiona Lolly, pro-Palestinian activist. I thought I bet they brought her on because they thought they they just have the same argument. It's not a genocide, is it? Is it? Yeah, no. That's well, all they okay. say. Call, this is why I all these debates. I would never get hung up on these buzzwords. They become magic words. They create walls in people's minds. Yeah, it's a waste of time. How about they just murdered a bunch of kids? And I feel like they didn't have to do that. And they're doing everything they can. Well, what they can do is nothing apparently because they're not avoiding it at all. They're and using 2,000 pound bombs. You, you, that, that's a 2,000 pound bomb could kill someone two football fields away. So that's those aren't your surgical strikes. They're they're just slaughtering people en masse in Gaza. And there's a lot of people who think that's okay. No kidding. A lot of Zionists say, well, look what we did in Dresden. They say that. You've heard them. People, friends of ours yes, have said that. Because Israel is a golem they made out of hate and fear from being persecuted. And if you ever saw the golem or Frankenstein... The monster unmakes you. You create the monster. You pour all your hate and fear into it, mm -hmm. and eventually it unmakes you. And you're looking at it right now. Well, that's what it didn't. Um, was it Nietzsche who said, "Be careful if you when you stare into the abyss, because eventually the abyss will stare back into you." Be careful when fighting monsters that you don't become a monster yourself. And that's exactly what. Has happened, and uh, Z I don't think Zionists were ever fighting monsters. I think they were they were always doing to the Palestinians yeah. what the Germans did to them. They were displacing they always, them and trying to steal their shit. There was always Jews that were against <clears throat> the perversion of Judaism. It's right. There was always Christians against the. Per There's always somebody who's like gets the message of the thing and those people exist that's why you can't generalize everybody and then there's always the other side that thinks they're the f like left hand path or whatever bullshit and that's who does all this stuff. Hey, get this. 
So we all know that the mainstream news media is not reliable. How can you trust them when they've never told you the truth about Russiagate, Ukraine, COVID, lockdowns, um, anything? That's where our sponsor, we have a new sponsor, Ground News comes in handy. Ground News is an app and a website. And what they do is they gather related articles from around the world in one place so you can compare coverage. So it's not, they don't generate the news, they compile the news, and then... They give you the visual breakdown of the news outlets and tell you if the source has a political bias and if it does, what's the political bias and how reliable that the reporting is and who owns them. So it's super helpful and transparent. Uh, check this out. Uh, so like if you search uh, Russia, Ukraine, search Russia, Ukraine war, and you'll see how it's covered. Here we see 111 total news sources. 18 of them are left leaning. Nine are right-leaning, and 27 of them are centrist. The bias distribution is 50% center, and even it even shows their logos along with their uh, factuality and ownership. So this is a pretty helpful, this is pretty, uh, uh, dare I say, uh, use an old-timey term, this is a neat website. So this is a good way to do your own research. So you get there, you see that they they help you by seeing what the bias is, by who owns these news out, but they compiles all different kinds of uh, sources around one news story. So it gets you access to independent and international perspectives, not just nationalist sources with the same political agenda. It helps you find the discrepancies in how certain topics are covered and shows you how corporate agendas, agendas can influence the news you read. Sounds a lot like this show. Sounds like this website does what this show does. Sounds nice. So if you want to see it for yourself, go to ground.news slash JD. Ground.news slash JD. Use the link below, and we're going to get you 40% off unlimited access. Go to ground.news slash JD, and we're going to get you 40% off unlimited access. Think critically about the news you consume. You come see me on tour in Rutherford, New Jersey, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Ontario, California, Las Vegas, Davenport, Iowa, Chicago, Illinois. We're doing a live panel video show, special surprise guests on that show, and Grand Rapids, Michigan. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets, and make sure you go to Jimmy Door because they don't want to buy it from a second reseller.